are you? Hi, I'm fine. Okay, state your name. I'm Michaela Gordon. Michaela Gordon, okay. Tell me your age. I'm 15. You're 15 years old? Yeah. And your school? Lake Highlands High School. Okay, and what grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade. 10th grade, okay. Let's talk about your plans for the future. Do you plan to graduate? Oh, yes. Yeah? Okay, yeah. tell me a little bit about that. Um, I want to graduate because nobody in my family ever graduated, and so I want to be the first in my family to graduate high school. Okay, that's great. And what about after school? So after you're done with your graduation, um, and how soon will that be? In two years. In two years? Okay, yeah. so in two years, after you're done with that, what are your thoughts about what you'll do then? Mm, I'll say, I mean, I like to do music, so mm -hmm. it's just straight music. What do you want to do music? Um, I want to be a performer. I want to be in the music industry and learn how to produce music and wow. all of that. Okay. Um, what about kids? You like kids? You want yeah, to have kids? I do, but not now. <laughs> okay. Not now. Not now. So, what's your plan? What's your plan for kids? Um, How, where do you see them in your future? After I'm married, <laughs> like I want to get married first and then have okay. kids, cause I feel like it'll be better. Okay. And when married. do you see yourself getting married? Um, I'll say like my late twenties, like twenty six, twenty seven. So like kids it. will come after that point. Yeah. If you want to wait to have kids until later, we have to have a plan about preventing pregnancy, right? So, did you get any information on how to prevent a pregnancy? Have you received that? Um, my mom, she taught, like, you know, she told me some things and I had her talk to me. She tells me things, but she actually haven't, like, sat down and actually talked to me, like, one-on-one. -on -one. So she's like, hey, don't do this, don't have sex before marriage, don't do this, and don't do that. Like, but she haven't, haven't actually like sat down one on one and talked to me. Okay, so what what kind of um, information have you received besides don't do this, don't do that? <laughs> um, I received like she told me that you know if I have sex, you know I can easily catch an STD, because you know she was telling me how Dallas is like one of the big cities and how STDs are going rapidly around Dallas, and you never know who has it. And so she was telling me, like, you know, just to stay abstinence and don't do anything at all. Okay, don't do anything at all? Anything. Okay, so, like, what's, what's your definition of abstinence? Um, my definition of abstinence is, like, just no sex, period, until you know you found the right one for you. Okay. So, um, how would you feel if you found out soon? that you were going to be a mother? I'll be shocked. shocked. Yeah, I'll be shocked. But, um, you know, it's reality. And so I'll try to, you know, talk, my, talk to my mom and, you know, talk to whoever the baby daddy is and talk to his parents and try to come together and, you know, just to help out for the baby. Um, did anyone talk to you really honestly about sex in your life that you can think of? I know you mentioned your mom a little bit, but did anyone talk to you honestly about that topic? No. No? Not like an actual conversation that's like, for like a mom. No. <laughs> so some things can influence us into wanting to have sex, right? Into having those feelings or those urges or make us curious about it. Um, what kind of things do you think influence people? Social media. Social media. You know, just social media period from the music to, you know, online. That's like the main thing that <laughs> triggers people the most, okay. especially in music. Especially in music. Especially so in music. So would that be the words to the music? Yes. Or, yeah. And you think the kids are really listening to those words that they're hearing? Yeah. Okay. And when you said social media, are those people's postings or those pictures that you're seeing? I mean, just everything, like, you know, you're going on a website, say if you go on a website to search something up, and next thing you know, you see something on the corner of your screen, like an ad with the girl and all of that, you know, it's just everywhere you see it, just social media, social media period, so like TV. Even, and Even just on the websites? Yeah. On the websites, okay. Um, what are your 
friends say about about sex? They just say it's like normal. It's normal. I was just like, it's good. It's like I don't want to do it though. <laughs> do they influence you in any way? Um, no, okay. no, not really. I'm the only one out of like all my friends that are like still a virgin, and so like they're just thinking like, okay, when are you gonna lose it? Like when? And I was so like, was nah, like you know, I'm waiting for the right one, and it's. It's hard, don't get me wrong, it's hard because of temptation, but you know, at times you have to learn how to overcome that temptation. Your parents, you mentioned your mom, right? And you said something like, she says, don't do this, don't do that. Anything else you're hearing from her? I mean, that's all I'll be hearing. Okay. Um, recently there was a article, it was on Thursday, and it says that the teen pregnancy rates are really dropping. They're dropping all across the United States. However, here in our Dallas area, it's still really, really high. So some of our areas here are two, three, even four times higher than the national average. And um, there's two reasons. So I want to see what you think about those. Okay? So um, about, let's talk about contraception for a minute. And contraception means birth control. Okay? So teenagers are saying that today they like being able to access um, birth control and they like that it's more convenient to access. How do you feel about access? So how, how do you feel about getting birth control? Is it easy? Is it hard? Um, I say it's easy. It's really easy. Okay, tell me more about that. Um, I feel like, you know, all you have to do is just go to the doctor and then just tell them what's going on and they'll do it. <laughs> And do you think it would be easy for teenagers to do that? Um, it depends because, like, with their parents, it's probably, you know, they're thinking, all right, you know, you're trying to have sex. And, you know, some parents, they think, okay, you're trying to have sex and you're trying to do this and you think you've grown and da da da, -da. But then some parents, they try to, you know, convince their child, like, okay, if you want to have sex, at least have safe sex and they try to influence their child to be protected. And talking about like doctors and clinics, um, do you know where to get birth control? Um, if you wanted to? I'll just say any doc, like any hospital yeah. should. Okay. Um, things have changed uh, recently in what is socially acceptable and things have changed over the past 20 years. And the idea of not having sex, so being abstinent, the word of being abstinent, is now something that can be okay. So people are saying that it's okay to be abstinent, to wait. So do you feel that your friends think that it's okay to be abstinent, and it's okay to wait? Yeah, because most of them, they think that, oh, I should have waited. You know, that's what most of them say. They, most of them say, I should have waited, like, my parents told me to and stuff like that. They uh, they feel like maybe they, they should have waited and they're okay with the idea of other people. Yeah. Does it surprise them that people would wait? Not really.